Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, that took a minute. It's okay. It is okay. Happy self quarantine. I, yeah, I know. Well, you look fabulous, and it's so good to see you because we haven't seen or spoken to each other since we did our shoot together on Ellis Island. I know. I was trying to think. Was that um, in September of last year? I think it was October. Because remember how cold and damp it was. Yes, it was. Oh, it was so cold. Ellis Island. That was so. That was such a cool experience. It was amazing, and and your music is so haunting, and your look and your roots come through Ellis Island as well. It was, it, it it's in our issue with Jennifer Hudson on the cover, which you know. So that was really yeah. exciting. It was just when you launched Purple Rain, your your remix with Moby, but now that's we're right because you have a new release. You have the classic John Denver track, "Take Me Home, Country Roads." Can you tell me about this? Because I heard it. I'm like, what? This is amazing. Matthew didn't even tell me. Oh my but gosh, I, I yes. It on your feed. It was, it's beautiful. So tell me about this. I'm so excited that people are hearing it because it was actually on my album. Wait, do you have wine? Yes, it's on 330. It. I know, that's great. I still have coffee. It's only 1230. <laughs> so um, um, Take Me Home Country Roads is on my album, um, which has been out for a bit. But um. I actually, Moby had suggested that I cover that song. He didn't produce it. A friend of um, mine produced it, but um, he was like, you know, it's such a beautiful song. It's such a classic John Denver song, but um, it's done like a little bit upbeat, the original is. And so he was like, yeah. I think it could be cool if you did it more of, of like a melancholic version. And so we um, recorded it with a friend of mine and um, I really like that take on it. But then we did this music video for it, um, which a director friend of mine had this idea to do it in VR 360, which yep. I wasn't familiar. Were you familiar with VR 360? Okay, I, I'm a little behind the times technologically. So he was explaining, he's like, it's gonna be really cool because you're gonna, we can have you driving down like a deserted country road, but when people view it on their phone, they can actually move 360 degrees and see any angle of the shot. And it was really hard for me to comprehend um, until I saw actually the camera that he used. So it's this amazing camera that has little tiny cameras that are, you know go around 360 degrees and that was mounted on the hood of the vintage car that I was driving. Fantastic, so fun, and it's a great idea. Yeah. It was, it was it was all his idea, obviously, and then but then the thing is we hadn't released the video um, along with the album when the album came out. Um, you know, I feel like as a newer artist, there's like you're every time you release something, you're trying to um, you know hopefully have people take notice of it. And I felt like um, that we were so busy working on the album release and it's just the songs that. I didn't want to also release the video and have it just be like, you know, get, right. get lost in the shuffle. Right. And so it got kind of shelved. And then um, during this quarantine time, I remembered that I had the video and we'd never done anything with it. And I thought it sort of has like a different context now because um, so many people, I mean, I'm lucky because I live in California and it's sunny and my street isn't busy, so I can walk outside and take a walk. But a lot of people, like I have friends that live in New York um, that are scared to even go outside. So I think it's, you know, I hope that it's nice that somebody could watch this and feel like they're in a 360 degree virtual world outside. I, I love it. It's, it's, it's like a chic Google Maps. Where it's like, where, <laughs> where was she driving? What was her view? What was she looking at? And the your interpretation of this song is um, it goes along the line of your work where it's poetic and haunting. Um, and you could feel your country roots in this one, which I, I, I liked a lot, but you also have one foot in pop. So for me, that doesn't understand country. I, I found it relatable. And then you were able to bridge the gap for me to really understand and embrace country more. I think that's why I like how you do both. 
I love that. I know. Cause I feel like country music is definitely um, a little divisive. Like just in general, if people don't, haven't grown up loving country music, then when they hear country, it's kind of like, yeah, it's um, hard. It's like, how do I dance to this? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, right. It's like, do I have to do a hoedown? Like, I'm not getting it. And you made, you made me get it. And um, you and Wyclef Jean, when he, uh, you both, when you, because uh, he did that um, country song with, uh, oh, it's amazing. It's on his, his first album after the Fugees. Someone tell me, someone write in, someone knows this Wyclef Jean. Uh, the, the, the classic 70s country singer with the beard. And the glasses. Uh, Kenny Rogers? Yes, with Kenny Rogers. He oh, okay. did, I don't he did that. a collab with Kenny Rogers. Oh, that's so cool. It's amazing. Only okay, I'm you and Wife Love John allowed me to understand country and really like it. Like, want to know the original too. Quarantine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is allowing you to be more creative? Um, definitely. Because I. I need like a lot of alone time and just a lot of like a long stretch of time in general to really get into um, like s songwriting and working on music. And um, I've realized I, I've never been like a big socializer. I can totally do without socializing, but there's like a social construct where if you have friends, like you need to make plans with them and like go out to dinner and stuff. Um, but since that's been taken away, I feel like for me, I don't mind it. Like I can start writing a song in the afternoon and then it becomes the evening and I'm not like, oh no, I have to stop now and, um, go to an event or go meet someone for dinner. So it's kind of taken away that socializing pressure. We have, we have Julie Mintz, uh, platinum recording artist definitely gold i don't know what does it take to be gold tatiana uh huh. tell to somebody tell us it's a certain number of well not records sold certain number of number of streams sold. maybe number of streams well does it have to be streams? oh okay actually maybe that's true because my purple rain cover did get over a million streams yeah, I don't know so, what a million makes you. So I thought a million was platinum and 500,000 was gold, but I'm not in the music industry and I might be insulting people who are. Purple Rain was streamed over a million times. Does that make her platinum? In my eyes, she is. So We, we have to give Prince a little credit for the help in getting Well, yeah, it. thank you, Prince. Thank you, Prince. Um, what he touches turns to gold and platinum. Yeah. Um, Julie, what oh, okay. songs do you want to cover next? Oh, um, I love that you asked that because um, one, of our, have, one of our viewers just asked that. Um, I have, gosh, it's, it hasn't come out yet. So I don't know. If, I, I feel like I can say um, I have done a cover of Dust in the Wind. You know, I perform with Moby when he's performing. I play in his band and um, he likes to do covers live just kind of to break up the set. So Moby had me cover Dust in the Wind live when we would do shows. And um, and I don't know. I was always kind of oppo opposed to it because it's like, it's really um, vulnerable to do that song. Like, it's just him on acoustic guitar and me when we would do it live. Um, and it can be scary to do a cover because everybody knows how it's supposed to go, you know? But anyways, people liked it. And so he was like, we should do... <laughs> we should do um we should record it <clears throat> so we actually did record it before um the stay at home orders and then moby worked on it during quarantine and um made it actually really cool it's not like an acoustic version it's definitely got like those sort of like atmospheric pop elements that you were talking about that you like in country red so that's going to be out maybe like within a month but what what are some of the things that you've been cooking Okay, so um, my mom finally taught me how to do her matzo ball soup recipe, um, which was actually really easy, and I'm so proud of myself. Awesome. Um, so that was good. And then, so I'm mostly vegetarian. I'd say I'm like 95% vegetarian. I'll occasionally eat sushi, but um, 
I'm Jewish and I really want, my family had a Zoom Passover Seder. And so I really wanted to like make all the traditional things. Um, so I actually made brisket and potatoes. Did you eat, did you eat it? Yeah, I had like a few bites of it, but it just reminded me of childhood. So I feel like nice. when it's those things that you've, eaten, that you've eaten in the past, like I thought it was really gonna gross me out. I've never cooked red meat before. It's, it, there, there's a knack to it. There is a little knack to it. Um, and to know how long, to know when you put another bottle of wine in the roaster. I made yeah. challah. I actually made challah. I cook, <laughs> but I don't <laughs> bake. So okay. I, I thought this could turn into a rock and it's fine. I need a door stopper on my bathroom door. Um, so I made it and we couldn't believe how incredible it was. The nice braided. Tatiana, I mean, that's, like, can you share your recipe like on your Instagram? Honestly, like when else are you going to have time to make a four hour loaf? Of yeah, no, I don't know if I can get into that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I totally got into it. Now, we've had a lot of viewers asking if you would sing something, and to their dismay, I did. Um, so I think you might have to apologize for me and just sing something. Oh, I have to get go get my guitar. Go get it. I'll keep them on. I'll keep okay, them it's, okay, it's I downstairs. Hold on. I have you. I'll okay. keep you entertained. I'll fix okay. my hair because my bangs are looking a little bit flat. Um, lots of root action, lots of root action. We all do. Don't do at home hair dyes. Don't do it. Wait for the professionals. I did cut my own hair. I had my husband continue it in the back. Luckily it worked out. It's fine, but no one's really going to see me. And I, I have this just in case of mistakes. So, I think your hair looks Julie's good. Back. I'm impressed Julie's that you cut it yourself. Back. Okay, so I actually have to, my, all of my tune, my strings were um, detuned from the last time I was traveling, so. Let's see. Oh, sounds good. I have to. <laughs> you have to, like, loosen all the strings when you fly. Sort of like your waistband in your pants. Exactly, because it can stretch the, it can stretch the neck of the guitar. Otherwise, right. that makes sense. I always wondered why my bra felt tighter when I landed. Oh my God. I, have you worn a bra during quarantine? Yeah, I do. Because I had a kid. You, you gotta, you gotta keep them strapped, strapped in now. You just gotta keep oh, that's them tied true. up now. Shit. You know what? I haven't played this live yet. Um, hang on. Um, okay. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country road. Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama. Take me home, country roads. Oh my God, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> okay. All my memories gather around her. Mine is a lady, stranger to the water. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrops in my eyes. And she alone, take me home 
to the place I belong, West Virginia, my mama, take me home, country roads, country roads, take me home, the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads, take me home, take me home, take me home. It. When I am at the gym or going for a good run, I yes. play songs that I could, uh, you know, imagine in my head that I'm the one singing. Yours is the voice I have in my dreams. Oh my God, that's such a huge compliment. Thank you so much for hanging today. I know, I this was so, this is like my human contact for the day. I, my, I know, I know. It's, I couldn't say mine too, because I, I'm, I'm, I had to wipe a bum earlier. But um, it, it's my first adult contact. Really. That's, I'm so glad. <laughs> That's my only. <laughs> so I just want to tell people, if you want to listen to that, the produced version of that song, um, Look it up on YouTube, like type in my name, Julie Mintz, Take Me Home Country Roads, and then watch it on your phone on the YouTube app, because that's the, that's the way that um, you get the 360 effect. Okay, so directly on YouTube, when I, when I do it on my phone, I'll be able to do the Google Maps on your video. Yes, if you, do, if, if you go to YouTube, like on your computer, it won't work, and it actually has like a weird effect where the video looks doubled, because that's so kind of how the smartphone. smartphone. Exactly. And, and, the, and, and on your computer, it's meant for pot smokers. <laughs> exactly. Like, do some shrimps and watch it on your computer. Done. And you'll trip out. You know, but... it's, there's something for everybody. And you thought of that. And I think that's really, um, you know, it's caring. Caring. Looking caring. out for, yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you for listening. You too. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.